what's going on my good people welcome back to another episode it is january 1st 2023 i want to wish everybody a happy new year yeah yeah Cars, bikes, whatever it is, get out and enjoy it. And it's 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 a lot going on today. I have one of my biggest sought out races for the first race of the year happening today, but we'll get to that in a minute couple new things that I want to highlight right now is uh, of course Zolomon. Zolomon is different y'all. Y'all see the drip on Zolomon these days. Good. This. Look at how saucy that black is. Shout out to Rafa. S1K Rafa out in Dallas. He did a beautiful job on the paint on the wheels on this bike. This is so beautiful. It's all blacked out now, and then I got the race tail section painted all black. Uh, brake delete, single rotor now. All in all, I think I dropped 17, 17 and a half pounds off the bike just on that, those mods alone. Of course, the uh, lightweight subframe is now on here. I don't know, it's just, I've just been having a good time with this bike, man, and I finally get a chance to bring it out and give me a ride in i haven't tested anything yet since the brake delete and the new designs that new mods that's on it so hopefully today will be a good one for rides and talk about the bike a little bit more to see how it feels and give you guys an idea of what to expect if you decide to go this far with your uh mods on the bike but man i cannot be any more happier than what i am with how this bike has turned out it, it truly looks amazing and then i got my homie jasper here with his 2020 r1 that is a work in progress we still got a lot to do on this bike the first meet of 2023 is gonna be in the books i will say you guys solomon feels amazing man Jeez, what was I waiting on? I should have uh, done those mods a long time ago. The bike feels so smooth and agile with the weight reduction on it. Those shifts are so crispy. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, my cruise control still works. See, that's another thing too. When you start doing the uh, rotor deletes and all of that and cutting weight, I think a lot of guys give up uh, uh give away a lot of the key features that these these bikes have i still like to have my cruise control and certain things abs working if it if it can that snap on the shift though <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That's up and snap it good. It's gonna be a problem for a lot of people, man. <laughs> oh man, I'm doing second gear pulls on this Joker and it feels so smooth. And it just pulls and pulls. I was debating on changing the gear and back to stock or at least uh, 1744 and try to snatch up first gear. But I think with the weight combination, and the gearing that it has now, the 1644, 
that's more than enough to keep you in the race. He likes it. He likes it. <laughs> he likes it. I think that'll be more than enough to keep you in the race, man, if, uh, if it came down to it. We'll see how things go here in a second. But all in all, everything seems to be working and running just fine. I wanted to test out the brakes and I did. Now, of course, when you start doing uh, rotor deletes and, and all that brake deleting stuff, you gotta use better quality materials, better quality brake pads, and you know, of course, you're, you're gonna have to frequent on your oil changes and check on that stuff more often, which I typically do anyways so that's why i'm okay with going that far with these bikes as far as my mods the sun's about to come out oh yeah i love it and i don't even have ceramic bearings wheel bearings any of that stuff yet but then again you know i'm not in a rush to go to that extreme just yet I'm just gonna enjoy it for what it is now and I think brother-in-law probably gonna be the one to spend more time with this bike that's what he's most comfortable with so he's comfortable with Zuckler too which he's riding right now but man this joker is smooth <laughs> I am too excited. Q, I told you Q. I told you, give me some time. I will transform this bad boy into something beautiful. We both know what kind of shape this bike was in when, when I first got it from you. <laughs> and of course we had to make that transformation, man. But everything feels good. My brake, I have braking power. The bike rolls good really what I wanted to test it feels comfortable my heated grips are working right now and y'all see my uh, cruise control was working just fine so great bike man very timeless bike that BMW has created I think all of their bikes have been timeless to be honest I think I've done enough talking for now Uh, go ahead and swap out with bro law here and see if I can get these uh, these runs with the triple lock. You feeling it? Oh. Yeah? Oh my god. My neck hurts. My neck, I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> oh. Well, hey, hey tight. Y'all yeah, yeah. stay tuned for that. Check in on the next video. Check me out on Instagram. Oh, speaking of that, thank you all for all the support. I hit 20,000 subscribers as of yesterday so that that's a great way to end the year and i thank you guys for all the support zoclo versus daywalk coming up next <laughs> oh looks like brella got him <laughs> brella got him up top yeah, they still going. <laughs> they still going. <laughs>